What's up everybody, welcome back to Yano's Garage. So, if you've been by my channel before and you've subscribed, thank you for coming by. If you're new here, thank you for coming by and checking out what we're doing around here. We appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for giving me a chance. Please hit that subscribe button. A lot of stuff going to be going down. Hey everybody, while I pause on my ugly mug here for a second, wow, I look dumb. Anyways, there's going to be this weird sound in the background, this like rumbling around. It's from me not having my mount right. I just have the camera propped up on something, so it's kind of rattling around a little bit. If you're a new subscriber, I apologize. I promise this is not how I film a video, but I'm not technical enough to edit it out yet. But thanks for being here. Let's continue with the video. A lot of welders, a lot of fabrication, a lot of furic stuff, a lot of TIG, a lot of MIG. A lot of Vara, a lot of Fox Body, you name it, we're going to be doing it. And if you're new, just to cover the basics, I'm doing a Fox Body Vara swap, and I'm doing all of the stuff myself. So we're going to go ahead, we'll get this elbow tacked to the collector, and then a flange tacked to the elbow, so that we can stock it in the turbo manifold mocked up. And uh, I think you guys are going to like how I'm going to be mocking up the manifold. A little unconventional. Let's get to this, stock it, and this stuff tacked up. We'll go from there. Just for, I mean, it's just a tack, so I don't need anything crazy. I'm just going to be using my regular lime green laser tungstens. This is pretty much a pretty good all-around electrode for just pretty much about everything. Got my little case of my electrodes and then I have my case for all my cups uh, this is a kit from Weldmonger it has a bunch of Furic cups and everything in there and we'll just throw a Furic uh, BBW cup on not really needed for tax but we'll throw it on there anyways Like I said, not needed because it's nothing crazy, just a few tacks, but what can it hurt? So I already got the welder set up. If you've seen my videos before, I have the AHP Alpha TIG 201 XD. The thing has been stout since the day I got it. Stainless, aluminum, mild steel. I've even done some cast stuff. It just always performs. Really? like that I'll leave it later and just weld it um, I might not just because of the fitment's weird but we'll go ahead and we'll throw a flange on there and then we'll go ahead and we'll mount it to the turbo and then we can stock it and the runners mocked up <laughs>
just like that, we have a mock header and inlet for the turbo. So we'll go ahead, attach that to the turbo, and start getting the runners mocked up. So we got this mock uh, inlet pipe collector all welded, uh, sorry, all tacked up. So we're going to go ahead and... And what we want to do is I want to keep it in this position because if you look we got just enough hood clearance there and then I can rotate the housing any way I want once it's there but this is like the approximate position so I'm gonna attach the collector in that elbow here and then we'll start marking out the runners So of course, like clockwork, uh, camera died, but uh, in the past two days, I've moved the turbo about five times and done about six different variations of routing for this thing. So just to like skip way to the head of everything, I went ahead and just pretty much got five of the runners done. If you look here, we got runner one, two, three five and six uh this one just kind of sagging a little bit but that's run right now this isn't going to be a perfect representation of the runner itself when i'm welding it but this will help me in getting an idea of where and how i want the runners to go the biggest problem i'm having right now is this first runner or just this first runner area because if you move it this runner to that runner, then you get into the way of runner number three. So with runner number four, I haven't started it yet, but I have a pretty straight shot from back there. It'll come up around to here. I ran out of fittings, so if you count, I have for 45 fittings, 45 degree fittings, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, forty five degree fittings, ninety degree fittings is one, two, three, four, five, ninety degree fittings, and then the fifteen degree fittings is one, two, three, four, five. And that's it for the 15 degree fittings. There might be one or two that get used with runner number five. But for couplings, I have six one and a half inch PVC couplings that I have right on this CX Racing Collector. And then uh, for various spots that I needed couplings, like right here, just to get that runner extended out. Here to get this cylinder extended to the head itself. And then another little tidbit of advice when you're doing this, go ahead and mark the runners. So you can mark it in sequence. So this will be 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 And then 
go on to the next one. And then go three, one, so on, four, five, six. So that's just a little bit of uh, making sure, like, if these pieces come apart, you know that this was the first piece in your runner. This is the second piece in the first runner. This is the third piece in the first runner. This is the fourth piece in the fourth, first runner. This is the fifth piece. So a couple of things to note with that is everything is done in one and a half inch PVC pipe. Um, this is a stick, a 24 inch stick, I believe. Yeah, two feet, one and a half by two feet. It probably could have got away Probably could have got away with using one stick of this one and a half inch PVC piping for the the lengths, the extra lengths and the runners and stuff like that. I ended up using two just because of, obviously I was rushing things and wasn't measuring, so I went ahead and chopped a bunch up. But so all the fittings I used were street fittings like this one right here. Now this is a normal fitting. You could do it with these if you want, if that works better. Um, but I figured with the street fittings, you use less fittings because you can put the street fitting into another street fitting. Instead of regular fittings, you have to put a section of pipe in here and then attach another fitting and then go from there. Um, again, material-wise, it costs less and you use less of these fittings. When I'm done with this fifth runner, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just basically going to just drop some glue on these uh, runners just to get them to stay in place. I'm not going to do anything crazy with gluing the actual fittings together because I just don't want to mess with messing it up. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, well, you could 3D print it or um, the ice kits out there. Listen, the ice kit, $800 for uh, just one kit and just one kit just squeaks by a four cylinder manifold so in turn i would have to buy another two sets of pieces which are a hundred dollars a piece which brings it from eight hundred to a thousand dollars and i think at most i spent a hundred and twenty dollars on pvc and fittings and i pretty much did the exact same thing that the ice stuff would do the ice stuff's really nice not knocking it just way overpriced for the material that it is and when it comes to 3d printing everybody you know go get a 3d printer they're cheap now i'm not spending 10 hours printing 200 pieces for for this if it if i didn't change the turbo location five times it probably would have taken me no more than two hours to get the perfect fit so next we're going to go into some intercooler pipe routing, maybe some routing for the uh, throttle body. Custom Alloy Welding just sent me a package and it came with a throttle body flange, a weld flange. So we can go ahead and get that knocked out for the elbow in the throttle body. But like I said, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you haven't smash that subscribe button because i appreciate it got like six thousand more watch hours before i can even start making anything off these videos so at this point it's just time that i'm taking myself to edit and shoot these videos i lost my tripod so i'm literally trying to put this thing somewhere that best fits me and uh best suits you guys so that you can see what's going on here we really cut to the short end with getting this done but thank you for watching thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed smash that subscribe button i think it's there maybe there i don't know but until next time we'll catch you guys later thank you